I'm not sure how long you've been watching this channel, but you may have noticed I shoot my wildlife photos on a bull head. And this isn't ideal, especially when you're using huge lenses like the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter lens. You'll see most pro wildlife photographers using a gimbal to stabilize their large telephoto lenses and cameras. This is something I haven't done, but I jumped on Amazon and picked myself up a gimbal. So today I'm going to be unboxing and showing the first impressions of the gimbal. So we're going to start off by opening the parcel, but before we do, let's just look at the packaging. I give them about a one out of 10 for creativity because there is nothing here except their name. Now sealing it, there's a little circle of sellotape. So I'm going to grab my scissors. Just going to snip that open. And we're going to open the box. Now what they lack in creativity, they've made up for in safety. There's a nice thick bit of polystyrene foam, not sure what you'd call it, to protect the gimbal. And there it is. It's bigger than I was expecting, like significantly bigger. We just have some little pieces of paper, but you know what we do with them. Now, some silica gel to stop the moistness. Now you can see that the head of the gimbal is carbon fiber. It has a very distinctive pattern. And the reason I chose carbon fiber over aluminum is because it is lightweight, but just as strong. So I'm gonna stop just looking at it and take it out. It is seriously substantial. So here we have the main part. This is just the arm, which comes up from the tripod itself. And then we have the connector, and this will attach to the base of your lens. Now we have our little screw here for screwing into the bottom of a lens. And my first thing I can see is I believe that screw is too big. Aha, genius. You can unscrew the larger screw and you get a screw which will actually fit a tripod, I had a little panic there. I thought it wouldn't fit onto my lens. Now, before I disassemble and lose all of these little bits, just add that back on. I need to just work out the tightening system. So, just see how easy, oh, nice and easy to turn that. And that's gonna help us turn this base, is it? How far out do I have to screw it? There we go. So that means that we can rotate it 360. And up here, if I, oh, I can feel that. There we go. That is for the swinging arm. I'm going to slide this, slide it in from the top. And that then attaches onto there. We're going to clamp that in to keep it nice and secure. And there you can see the gimbal as a whole. I can already tell by the way the middle bit swings backwards and forwards that it's going to be smooth. And that's the unboxing done. There isn't much in the box except the gimbal itself and a few instructions because a gimbal is a mechanical product. It's not electrical, there's not much to it, but when it comes to shooting out in the field as a wildlife photographer, it'll definitely make your workflow easier.